Cho boy. Cho 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 boy. This is a war cry in Ghana. It's much the same in a lot of African countries. Here in Ghana and in much of Africa, advocates, activists, warriors, they like to call people together. They like to use sound, music, songs to call people to support a message, to support a movement. And it's much the same all over the world. Because when we saw the people, the protesters for Black Lives Matter, they had a cry. It was simply Black Lives Matter. In Nigeria, when we saw the protesters for the NSAS campaign, it was much the same. And SARS. Here in Ghana, a few months ago, or maybe almost a year ago, we had the Fix the Country campaign, and it was much the same. But you see, this part of protestations or activism or advocacy that we see is just one part of the story. There's a lot more that has to happen for any activism or for any advocacy to succeed. Hi, my name is Elfo Kokumawazo. I'm glad to join you today on the World Speech Day. I'm glad to join amazing speakers all over the world to touch hearts on community engagement. Are you a leader, an advocate, an activist? Do you consider yourself one who represents other people is selling a message? If you do, then you would need these three key elements for your activism or your advocacy to succeed. Now, these three key elements work together. They are not run. They are not on any level. They all on a horizontal base work together for the success of any advocacy or activism. Now, I remember my own story when I was in undergrad at the Ghana Institute of Journalism, where I led or was part of two different advocacies or activism. One was called the Feast Must Fall Now. Now, the Feast Must Fall Now, we've got one part of activism right and got the other two wrong. We were very interested in negotiating, but we were not able to rally people and demonstrate on the street. We were not able to rally messages and put out as scribes. But in the second activism or in the second protest, we protested for GIJ students to be allowed to write exams. We called it the GIJ student deserve better. And in that campaign, we're able to strike all the three parts of a successful activism or a successful advocacy. So now, what are the three key elements of a successful activism? You need to have negotiators, you need to have scribes, and you need to have demonstrators. Now the negotiators are the people who have the temerity, who have the calm, collected nature and are able to enter the boardrooms and have conversations with the powers that be. Because as I always say, if you are going to have a successful act activism, you need to talk to those in charge, not those who are charged. You need to speak to those who are the helm of affairs, who take the decisions, not those who execute the decisions. And one of the ways to get those who take the decisions is to enter the boardrooms and negotiate. So for your advocacy or your activism to succeed, you need negotiators. You need people who have diplomatic aura around them, who can enter the boardrooms and speak to the minds and the hearts and the emotions of the powers that be, so that those people can consider changing their minds or their decisions regarding the particular matter you are advocating. The next thing that you need are the scribes, people who are very adept at writing. They write all the petitions, they lead the social media campaigns, they put out messages that can touch hearts and touch minds, and even encourage and entreat people to join the campaign. Because here is what, in today's world, it is difficult to have a successful campaign without getting people across board, the masses, to join in the campaign. And that is why it is important to have scribes. Scribes are creative writers. They are compelling writers. They put in, in writing, message the message that you are putting across in your campaign the next group of people you need or the next key element that you need is the demonstrators these are people who can get out onto the street 
and make all the noise. But here's the thing. If you're going to succeed in demonstrations, you don't necessarily have to destroy things. You don't have to destroy property. You don't have to be violent. So you can have a demonstration that is not violent. You can be on the street. You can pick it at, at the office of the, the organization that you are advocating against or you are asking uh, reliefs from. You can do all of these things without necessarily being violent. You need people, therefore, who, when they say, let's go, people would follow. You need people, therefore, who, when they say, let's sit, people would sit. Now, as a leader, you want to identify yourself in any of these or a couple of these areas. You cannot be in all, you cannot do it all, and you cannot do all of them at the same time. But all these three things need to work at the same time for you to have a successful campaign, a successful activism, or a successful advocacy. So I ask you, are you a leader? Are you an advocate? Do you want to succeed in your activism? You need to have negotiators, which means you need to negotiate. You need to have scribes, which means you need to write. You need to have demonstrators, which means you need to demonstrate. I believe that the successful advocacies and protests and movement all over the world, in all the centuries that the human race has seen, have had this. The NSAS campaign had it. The Black Lives Matter movement had it. The fifth the country missed a bit of it, so we are attesting to the fact that they did not succeed. My own campaign in GIG, GIG Student Deserve Better, had this. And I believe these are the key elements that you need for a successful activism. My name is Efo Koku Malta. Thanks for enjoying this speech. <laughs>